morning, uh, or day nine, I believe. And, uh, well, yeah, that didn't look shady at all. And take your placard off, your handicap placard, now that you're moving out of the parking spot that you didn't need to be in the first place. They're freaking panhandling in front of my damn stores. But anyhow, um, question. I am, uh, I don't want to say I've always been, uh, you know what? Hold up, shut up, back it up. First off, I have a few videos on my other streaming service if you would uh, be so inclined or if you want to check it out. It's on Mixer and you can find me on Mixer, the name Red Knob underscore Dinots. That's R-E-N-O-B underscore D-E-N-O-T-S Spell backwards to spell stone boner They didn't like the name so I changed it All I did was spell it backwards So yeah, check me out there Lots of videos there, lots of videos um, And let me apologize again For my, my outburst with the C word yesterday But <laughs> No excuse But that woman asked for it <laughs> And if it was a guy I probably would have used the same dog all word Because it was a stupid ass move they pulled father would say that I was always sensitive and you know with my emotions and feelings and all ah, I don't know don't think so but as I've gotten older and uh, I should say in the last handful of years um, you know I get these things where all right perfect example uh, my 10 year old had those golden ticket videos on this morning you know, and I guess maybe since having children and becoming uh, you know, better acquainted with them through getting my shit together a little more, a little more, a little more, you know, it's not where it should be, but it's where it, you know, can be and where, it, you know, it can't go any lower right now in order to maintain a decent, uh, you know, fan base with my children and my family. Uh, but I can't watch those things now, man. They get all... They get you all weep in your, you know, your heart to your throat. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. You know. And, you know, okay, so my question. Uh, you know, is it coming with age? Is it, uh, as I said, my uh, growing and deepening relationship with my, with my kids? I mean, it could be anything. It could be one of these, um, you know, vet surprises his brother with a, with a homecoming. You know, the brother's at basketball practice shooting around or whatever. And then, you know, his big brother comes up you know, from behind. You know, they didn't know he was coming home on leave or whatever. And, oh, my God. Oh. You know, I get all, I get weepy and shit, you know. Hits me right where I live. You know, is that... You know, is that a, a byproduct of perhaps being under medicated? Is it something other people with, uh, you know, bipolar or, you know, I don't want to say mental disorders, but, uh, you know, any type of mental illness, you, know, you find yourselves vulnerable to feelings and, uh, you know, things of that nature? Or, uh,. Have I just become a pussy in my in my years? Ah, uh, see, I said the C word yesterday that, you know, a lot of women cringe at. Now I said the P word that a lot of women cringe at. I am sorry, but, you know, here I am, IRL, in real life, raw and uncut. So, just asking. Um, comment below once I get this uploaded to uh, YouTube, or if you want, comment on the... Uh, that I share through Facebook and, uh, and we can talk or you can even direct message me if you don't want the uh, you don't want the stuff out in the air which I can understand me my life's like an open book for the whole world to read all right shut up all right that's it for now I'm gonna listen to the B4
files and drag my butt into work. It's Friday. Shake your ass! Alright. Hi, hello. Hi there. How are you? Good, 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 good. <laughs> Ouch. Painful Friday. It's early evening. Now leaving work. <laughs> Sorry. My freshman in college just texted me. I was trying to read it. Making sure she ain't making any frivolous expenditures. But, uh, yeah. Let's talk about chronic pain. And when I say chronic pain, I mean a pain you're constantly in. Uh, you know, with brief periods of uh, momentary relief. Uh, you know, you might have a good day here and there. But the kind of pain where you can say for the better part of your days and nights, uh, you're, you're in it. And by chronic, I also mean it's, uh, you know, either it is or it's very close to being uh, debilitating. Now, as I've found out over the years, um, you're living with chronic pain can alter a person's mood. Uh, you know, I don't say alter, but change a person's mood. Um, for the worse, usually. Uh, you know, sometimes I wonder if, uh, you know, all that I have was thrown into one big pot and stirred up and just waiting for my parents to come along and, uh, and throw their ingredients in there and poof out came a mess you know, it, it doesn't make a, doesn't make the rest of uh, our dealings any easier especially not being independently wealthy Having to uh, work as often as possible, you know, every day, preferably and for as long as possible. But you know, that doesn't always work out. But um, you know, it can be done. It, it can be done. Right now, I've got pain in my back and my neck that, if I wasn't preoccupied with <laughs> driving and recording right now, you know, uh, I'd probably either be pulled over on the side of the road or still sitting in the parking lot and calling my wife, like, oh, I'm going to be late, uh, you know, this is hurting, this is killing me, you know, help me through this, talk, you know, she always has great advice, great ideas, great, I don't want to say tactics, but, uh, you know, distractions. Tell a friend, tell a foe, tell
tell a family member, share, like, subscribe, please, and uh, let's help grow, grow this little thing into something greater. stuck with me, you know, <laughs> um, and he said, don't cry for me, you know, please don't cry for me, I'm just, you know, a dick dragging a body, I'm just an incredibly handsome face with a wrecked ass body stuck behind it, um, you know, I, 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 I do more damage, I do more negative than I do positive. But then again, we are our own worst critics. But uh, whoa, homegirl's hair is shorter than mine. Personally, I can, uh, there it goes. Uh, I have seen it where a young lady 
is, you know, daddy could do no wrong, even though the world has seen it and everybody knows that daddy's doing wrong, he's still Superman to her. Um, you know, what do you tell that kid? You know, no, he's a shit stick or if it's mom, you know, no, she's worthless or whatever, you know, it, it, it's, ha. Ah. But I, I just, and I know it's not a good thought to have a good question to have because it all start eating and eating and eating and eating and it'll be there if the time ever comes that I you know, sink so low again that switch is going to kick where it's going to be oh well nobody really loves me so what the hell well no it's that I don't accept or I don't see other people's love for me. Uh, oh, I can't say that. I do see the love. But I just... You, you know what I mean. I, I, I just... I don't know. I guess I don't feel worthy of the love that I get from the people that I get it from. See the things that I do uh, as far as helping people. Um, you know, some, not so much physical any longer because you know, dystonia has pretty much robbed me of that. But advice, uh, ideas, a lot of it's advice. somebody to cry over me ever whether it's for joy or if it's out of sorrow out of anger out of misery out of hurt you know don't cry for me I'm just doing what I think I'm supposed to do as a human as a man as Part of this race, part of this culture, part of this, you know, human being wonderland. And, you know, I can be, I can be told till the cows come home of why, just why these people love me the way they do. And sometimes it just, well... I've only had it you know, explained twice, once before going into the hospital and then again sometime after coming home. And sometimes it also feels like a, not such a burden, but a, a double-edged sword, blessing and a curse. Because it's so easy for people to And when I say this, I don't mean like head over heels, valentines, hearts, chocolates, and cookies and stuff. But it, uh, for people to fall in love with me, uh, my being, who I am, what I do, uh, you know, what I offer in the way of uh, advice, help, whatever. yard sale over there. Anybody need to buy a yard? But there's a lot of times where I want to be left alone. Or at least just left to my my circle. You, know, you can't always control who's going to come up to you and, and, you know, and want to talk or want to discuss something. You can't stop it. You know, maybe I need to look at this as um, 
like a uh, maybe a calling. You know, uh, put my gripes and my you know gurs aside and listen to these folks, listen to these people, listen to what they're asking or they're uh, having trouble with, or maybe you just need to be there to listen. I started to uh, live that that thought the last uh, year and a half, I guess. Uh, sometimes you may ask yourself, why did this person uh, tell me that? Why do they feel it's necessary for me to know that? Man, I gotta start finding another way home. And, uh, you know, we see, hear, meet everyone, everything, everything we see here, everyone that we meet, uh, you name it, we, it happens for a reason. And we need to take something away from each of those things. Even if it's a completely negative situation, if you can't learn from it, then you're going to let that, that if it was a mistake, then it'll always be a mistake. You won't be able to turn it into a learning experience if you don't learn from it. Uh, I've learned a lot. And I just, um, you know, I told my son the same thing not long ago that you're probably going to going to have because he's a kind soul outside the house. You're probably going to have a lot of people coming to you and wanting to talk to you and they'll start telling you stuff that you think, "Wow, why why are they telling me?" They're telling you this because they need somebody there to hear this and um, you, know, you were put there to hear this. Whatever you you believe in, whoever you believe in, uh, you know, I would say in our case, you know, God has put you there for this person, or even for yourself. You know, you're, there's something comes out of these people's faces. Some noise that comes out of their face is going to or should stick with you one day, and then you go, oh my gosh, four years ago when that. The hobo that was pissing on my leg in the uh, in the in the bus stop, he said such and such, and now, I'm like, wow, that that you know, wow, that's so true. <laughs> and use it, use that to your advantage. Use that to move forward in life. Use it to get past things. Use it to elevate. Use it to level up. Use it to your advantage. Use it to help somebody else. I just wish I could make money off this shit, because damn, I could use it. You know, I think that uh, for too long, um, you know, maybe because we just didn't know it, uh, we walk around and... Um, you take, uh, in a sense, take everything we see and hear for granted. I think a lot. I can't stop thinking about so much. Sometimes, all at the same time, it seems. But, you know, I've, I've got this newfound cosmic wisdom. <laughs> uh, you know, we have purposes. We're not just thrown together through some science and here we are and we do things and we say things and, and then we go to bed and you know eat sleep shit excuse me work play pray and that's it but no hello there's a reason there's a reason for why this person is in your life whether they're uh, somebody you live with, a child, uh, a parent, family member, roommate. Uh, there's reasons why uh, you know you have these particular coworkers around you, um, especially if they're people that come to you. You're a magnet, and as I've learned, it's best to be 
appreciative of it all because you can pick, like I said yesterday, take what's good from everything, shoo away the negative, and add your own thing to it to make it even better and make it suit you. And as long as it's suiting for positive, and then put that out there for somebody else to uh, to hear, to see, to experience, and hopefully pass along. You know, trust me, folks. Uh, everybody, everything. There's a purpose. If for one moment you ever think or feel that you don't have a purpose or you don't serve a need or that you are no good to this world or you're no good to a particular person or persons, then you figured it out. Half the problem is done. Now all you have to do is change it, fix it, work on it. You know, I can say without a shadow of a doubt, it's easier easier said than done. But you know, you you, know, you didn't fall apart in one day, and you're not going to uh, be rebuilt in one day. You're not a transmission. You're not an engine. somebody who you know, is on this positive kick and wants everybody to see, oh, look at this, look at me, if I can, you can. Well, yeah, that's true. We all can. But I'm coming to you real, in real life. You know, I tell my children the same thing. You know, there's a purpose, there's a reason just keep doing what's right and what's good and what you feel is the best for that situation. Don't ignore people. Don't, you know, turn away a helping hand. Don't walk away from someone or something that needs help or attention. If we can get more people to live that way, to think that way, to be that way, and to spread it and to raise families that way, we can uh, we can make America great again. You know, everybody wants to the blame and yeah, they play the blame game. Oh, it's the president. The president divided us. The president divided. Bullshit. All right, shut the fuck up with that. The president divided us. Shit. Okay, and I'd say the same thing no matter who the hell I voted for, if I even voted. All right, we separated ourselves. We continue to separate ourselves. Maya Angelou said it best, and I'm going to chop it all up because my memory is for shit, but she had said something to the effect of, you know, we were born and made uh, as equals, but uh, money you know, categorized us, religion separated us, politics divided us, and so forth and so on, and right in that one. She was correct. Um, you know, not one person can, can um, you know, build up or take down a, uh, a nation of, of billions. You know, yeah, that, that's up to the nation. You know, stand for something or stand for nothing. Stand for something or fall for everything. I say it confidently, nobody will know that I fucked it up the first time it came out my face. It's my new favorite F word. Face. So, yeah. Um, I know. I know my children. I know my nieces and my nephews. 
they are going to be people that change this world. They are putting things into motion to make things better. You will see that. It's just like a garden, folks. <laughs> Life's a garden. Dig it. You gotta, you gotta nurture it. You've got to make sure it's getting plenty of water, getting plenty of sunlight, getting everything it needs. And that's just the way we are, too. We need sunlight. True. We need nourishment. We need to be, you know, uh, properly you know, raised. And it's, it's not happening like it, uh, like it should, like it used to. closed one school they're trying they're, they're going to move the sixth graders over into the high school next year and I knew that was going to happen even though they said well let's put it to a vote now if voting mattered they wouldn't allow us to do it okay yeah she's picking her nose um, you know and you can't tell me you cannot tell me that moving them into the high school is not in an attempt to eventually shut down that you know, the the middle school as well. It's going to happen. It, it's it's up to us. And unfortunately, I think it's going to have to come to a complete you know revolution. You know, we're going to have to take arms against the man and you know run on Washington. But you have to get the gut. You have to get the uh, you know the armed services to, you know, to back us first because you know. They've got the weapons. But, yeah. So, damn. I tend to fucking ramble like a son of a bitch without Adderall. But yet, my comedy flow is a lot easier without it. So, alright, I'm starting to lose focus now, so I'll, I'll shut off again. And just like that, my mood is back in the shitter again. I'm not going to say much more because it, it's personal and it doesn't just involve me, but essentially it is a me thing where all of a sudden I'm just, is my hair getting thinner? No, it's not. It just looks that way. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It just looks that way. So, yeah. Yeah.